Well, actually, I see pastoralism as uh, building on uncertainty. It's almost like the essence of the richness of pastoralism is using uncertainty. And uh, so it's a natural lens to use for looking at pastoralism. Uh, and I think, in a way, it's more important what's, what kind of lens or what kind of perspective can that, looking at pastoralism, pastoralism have for how we look at our lives in, in other sectors and to what extent we are maybe trying to make two firm frameworks and uh, trying to uh, make things too rigid uh, so that we're not prepared to embrace uncertainty and we're um, not prepared to deal with uncertainty in a, in a self-confident way. And so it's a funny thing, you know, you start looking at pastoralism and learning from pastoralism how they're dealing with uncertainty, and you can learn something for other sectors of life of how we could deal better with uncertainty. And that, in turn, uh, gives you more respect for pastoralism, uh, you more appreciation for what they've actually accomplished. Uh, Well, that's one of the main reasons I'm here with this CELEP hat and with this International Year for Rangelands and Pastoralists uh, to think about how could this project contribute uh, to the debates about pastoralist development and how it could interlink with, with, with what we're doing. And I'm hoping that this uh, project will uh, raise more awareness about the importance of being able to deal with uncertainty and being uh, having the kind of uh, policies and pastoralist development interventions that don't confine pastoralists and make their system less flexible. Uh, you know, there's a lot of movement towards intensification of agricultural production. There's a lot of movement towards modernization of pastoralism. And for me, it's almost an opposite of what pastoralism is. The essence of pastoralism, the strength of pastoralism, is it's being able to deal with unexpected changes and still being able to produce food in a, in a resource efficient way in um, areas that, uh, well, food could not be economically or ecologically produced in any other way.